Look at that new all time high and it's looking like it is continuing way up to our $3,000 price target. Ethereum 2.0 is coming in July, which is one of the highlights for this year uh, for Ethereum. And it seems for April, it did outperform Bitcoin. But now the question is, what is May looking like for Ethereum? Will it continue up towards that $3,000 target, which is only about 10% away? As you can see, there has been a nice slow grind up since December. Uh, for Ethereum and there may be another buy to dip opportunity in May before the price does continue towards $3,000 but let's talk about the possibilities later in this video. Welcome back or welcome to Currency.com's channel. My name is John at Real John Doe on Twitter and for this video I'm going to give you guys a new update on Ethereum looking into May as we just touched a brand new all time high. Right now at the time of recording, Ethereum is just at that $2,700 level. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that on what we can expect next to happen. And also I'll give you guys a little bit of a follow up on the previous video that we did a few weeks ago because it looks like we're right on track with that video compared to where the price action is right now. As the price continues upwards towards our $3,000 target, which I am expecting to happen in May, so stay tuned as we talk about that. And this is the part where you guys help me out real quick. And that is by hitting that thumbs up on this video. That's it. Just like this video. It really does help out the channel. So we can continue putting out all of this content for you guys, helping you out with your trades and also keeping you updated on the top cryptos. We try to give you guys just facts and no hype. So you guys can have a very clear view on what's going on in crypto. So if you are a fan of our channel and you haven't subscribed yet, also, don't forget to smash that subscribe button to be notified whenever we do post new videos. But let's move on to today's video. First things first, we're going to talk about that is the trader sentiment right now for Ethereum. So looking at this right now, Ethereum did hit that new all time high at about 2700. Right now, it's showing 66 percent buyers, 34 percent sellers with the price leaning towards the low of the day. It is looking like there is a battle right now with the bulls and the bears and possibly will test the lower support levels, but we will see how this goes out. Okay, so now it's time for support and resistance levels for Ethereum. Important price levels to look for. The first one I'm gonna give you is support to the downside. And the first level is $2,500. And that was a previous all-time high resistance. So if price heads down towards there, it is now a support. And then the next level after that is right at around 2,350, which is a 21 day moving average right now. And then 2,050, which was the previous yearly resistance level. And it's also right along that 50 day moving average range. And now moving on to some news for Ethereum. This just happened today. Ethereum exceeded Platinum's market cap for the first time. This is pretty big because Platinum has been around for years. Ethereum is brand new, hasn't really established itself in the financial space, but it is continuing to grow at an exponential rate, making it right now the 33rd most valuable asset in the world. And having the potential of becoming the infrastructure for the financial future, Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin says that right now, Ethereum does have a neutral credibility uh, for the impact of the future of finance. But he does say with Ethereum 2, it is a new reliable money uh, for a decentralized economy. Another great thing that happened in April was Chinese company Me Too has added another hundred million in crypto assets such as Bitcoin and Ethereum uh, to their latest purchase. This marks one of the biggest companies now worldwide to continue adding Ethereum to their holdings. And we will continue to see more and more companies do this uh, as Ethereum is expected to have a better return on investment opportunity uh, than Bitcoin. And more and more Ethereum ETFs are getting approved. Three Ethereum ETFs were approved in North America all within one day at showing that Ethereum is growing adoption and it is the next crypto to be added uh, next to Bitcoin in multiple ETFs. As you can see here in this tweet, majority are Bitcoin based, but there are Ethereum ones popping up that are waiting approval and have already been approved just this month. Now, let me give you some price action talk. $5,000 for Ethereum. Is that possible by the end of May? I wouldn't say it's impossible, but this new move up to 2700 really made things look really bullish for Ethereum going into Ethereum 2, which is only about two months away. And according to data by Glassnode, $5,000 for Ethereum is in the cards as speculative premium is starting to rise and getting far and far overheated and a big price surge is expected in May. But let's look at the chart 
and see what that's looking like. So with Ethereum right now, you can see we did touch a new all time high. Price has been trending to the upside, making higher lows, higher highs, a nice smooth trend to the upside. And what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to give you guys new price targets and a bullish and a bear scenario uh, for May. But first, I'm going to play back a quick clip from the previous video that we did to show you guys how we are still on track with that same analysis. And I'll show you what I'm expecting in this next pivot point to the upside or even potentially to the downside. On the bullish side, this is what I'm looking at right now uh, for April. My first level is roughly right about here at about 2050. And if we can flip 2050 into a support and range there, then the next level that I'm looking at for Ethereum is at about 2,400 uh, for April. And then each price target from current levels that we are right now at the beginning of the month, first one is about uh, five, six percent. And then the next target from current range is about 22 percent. In the past three years, Ethereum has been uh, given about a double digit return for April. So those are the two price targets that I have. And let's say we do get a 10 percent return. That still brings us up above 2000, uh, right at about 2150. So I got my two price targets for April uh, 2050 and also 2400. But bullish overall, I'll be looking for the price to close the month somewhere between 2000 to 2500 or even better than that. So as you see from our last video, we're still on track. We made a new all time high and Ethereum is still following that slow grind upwards. So overall, right now, I'm going to stay bullish on this trend. And right now I do have a few new price targets for May. First one here at about $3,000. And then the next level is roughly at about 3,500, which are both pretty much price discovery and psychological resistance levels. I also have some neutral price targets that are also by the dip opportunities. And the first one is right along this 21 day moving average support. And that is right below 2,500. And then the next level would be just a little bit lower than that at about 2,200, close to that 50 day moving average. We haven't touched the 50 day moving average since about March 29th. So it has been some time now. So we can't potentially expect a touch to that in May and then a bounce back up past $3,000. So with my bullish forecast, I see them playing out something like this. To three thousand dollars if we do get some consolidation and some support building right now for ethereum we will stay in this range until the end of april and depending on the momentum shift we would push to test three thousand dollars in early may and have a rejection at those levels come back down to test the lows and the highs from april and if that support holds we'll bounce back up to test three thousand once again more than likely followed by a breakout. You could also look at that RSI, that divergence we have right now, which is bearish. So a correction is potentially going to happen in the beginning of May. But if it does, it is more of a buy the dip opportunity. As I said here, I do have a neutral target right above that 21 day moving average, which is right around 2,300 to 2,500. And that is the buy the dip range for the beginning of May if we do not test 3,000, because I can't see the price bouncing off that level to test all time high once again, potentially coming back down to test that 50 day moving average that we should get pretty soon. And then continuing past $3,000 right before the end of May, we need a flip of support of $3,000 before we can continue on to my next price target toward 3,500 and possibly even $5,000 like the data from Glassnose suggests. But then to the downside, if things do get bearish for Ethereum, prices that are important to watch, let's say this is the top range right now. We do have that buy to dip spot that I have that could be bearish around that 21 day moving average. And then we got to watch that 50 day moving average support because as you can see, price does touch that, but it has continued to bounce off that level. Uh, throughout the year. And if it does not, and then things could be looking a bit toppy for the year for Ethereum. And then we're heading down towards 1,700, which was that monthly support in April. And in March, we get a bounce there and a lower high. And then we're heading down towards that 200 day moving average at about 1,300. But that's it for this updated analysis on Ethereum. I'm still sticking with the last analysis that Ethereum will continue to go on this uptrend making higher lows, and we will see $3,000 in May 
moving on to my next price target at about 3,500. But first, I'm going to want a daily close above $3,000 so we know we have support there. But also be cautious and look out for that buy the dip opportunity along that 21 day moving average, because as you can see, there has been quite a bit of range down there, which I am expecting price to eventually make it back down there to test just how strong that support is, potentially before continuing to $3,000 and above. Let's see how it goes. What do you guys think is next for Ethereum? Feel free to leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Also, let me know what you thought of this video, your overall feedback. I really appreciate it. The team for making all these videos for you guys. We look at all the comments you guys leave on the videos and look for ways that we can improve on giving you guys great content just like this. And our main goal is to help you guys out with your trading and also continue to grow our channel. And if you wanna support us in that, don't forget to also smash that like button and like this video. For more trading videos just like this, please subscribe to our channel.